In this video, I went snowboarding on a freshly groomed blue trail all by myself and it was an awesome experience. I'm at a ski resort named Suicide 6 in Vermont. It is the Monday of President's Day weekend and I woke up early to catch one of the first chairlifts up to the top of the mountain. I had zero wait in line for the chairlift, which is unbelievable since it's a long weekend in the winter. The early bird catches the worm. Uh, this trail that I'm snowboarding on is a blue trail from the top of the main lift. It's called Bunny's Boulevard. I wanted to share you, you what it was like uh, when I have the pleasure of snowboarding on a freshly groomed trail all by myself. It was an amazing experience. There was so much room. I got to practice my heel side and toe side turns across the trail without worrying about other skiers or snowboarders rushing by me from behind. I, I got to try a few spins on my snowboard as well. I love trying out 180 degree snowboard spins or 360 degree spins with my snowboard on the, on the ground. It's called a, a, a butter move on a snowboard. I hope uh, that this footage does not make you dizzy though. We were staying in Woodstock at the Woodstock Inn, which is a great place to stay. Central location in Woodstock, nice rooms, and nice restaurants too, like the Red Rooster and Richardson's Tavern. But the biggest benefit is that the Woodstock Inn owns the ski resort Suicide 6, and it's very close by, only a 10 minute drive from the Woodstock Inn to the ski resort, which makes it very convenient because there's less travel time. Don't let the name scare you. It's really a family friendly mountain. It claims to be the earliest ski resort in the United States, as it was founded in 1934 with the first rope tow using an old Ford Model T engine. Uh, then, uh, Bunny Bertram, a former ski coach from Dartmouth College, took over the operation and installed a more reliable electric motor. A few years later, he moved this operation to a steeper hill nearby, which was named Hill, no hill 6 on the map. They joked that to ski down the face of Hill 6 would be suicide, so they called the ski resort Suicide 6. Don't be scared, I've skied down the face before, and while it's a double black diamond uh, ski trail, uh, it's really fun. For my family this weekend, uh, my wife and daughter wanted to ski for two hours while I wanted to snowboard for four hours. So uh, it was great. We skied. They skied with me for two hours. Then they left uh, me behind to snowboard on my own while they went shopping or had lunch. And then they picked me up in the afternoon. It was also convenient on this day because checkout time from the inn was at 11 a.m. So that meant that I had between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m to snowboard as much as possible before checkout and try to get in as many runs as I could. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click like, comment, or subscribe. I have other videos of snowboarding at Suicide 6 on my channel. I've been snowboarding a lot, but I've only re recently begun trying out the terrain park for the last few years. So I'm a beginner with terrain park tricks. I'm a little, I'm a little old for the terrain park, but I'm young at heart. So check out my videos. If you have any friendly tips, please share them with me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.